Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I'm Justin Block, but also welcome to our makeshift setup that will be uh, the home to JLB Sports TV for the time being. Now, this is the January transfer window. Spectacular special. Yay, yay, yay. Who is Liverpool going to sign? I don't know, but let's get into it. Now, Liverpool's key needs are a striker because they can score goals, a direct winger because they really need some pace down the wing and more direct wing play, and they need a central defensive midfielder because Lucas is out, Jay Spearing is out now, and I don't think I can trust Jay Spearing for an entire half season. Now, everybody wants to go out and sign, you know, the big marquee 30 million pound striker, but that's not going to happen, and for a few reasons that you really have to keep in the back of your mind before you get your imagination all wild. Now, for one, this isn't Manchester City, and this isn't Chelsea. John Henry and FSG aren't just going to willy-nilly throw out 30 million pounds. Um, the magazine 442 had their annual football rich list. John Henry was only 20th. Liverpool and John Henry aren't planning to go out and take huge losses like Man City and Chelsea do every single year. Those teams rack up so many losses and so much debt upon their clubs because they're spending so stupidly and so recklessly, but that's because their owners don't really care because they have endless pockets funded by Western, um, I guess the West and the oil that we all buy from them. But uh, Liverpool is not, they're not those clubs. They're not going to go out and spend money that way. Yes, LFC does have money for the first time in the club's history to go out and get the players that they want. Um, they're not going to lose out to another club because they can't afford them. If they want the player, they will go out and get them. We're not going to have like a Gareth Barry situation of a couple years ago where Liverpool just can't simply afford to fit him in the budget or they're going to get outbid. That's not going to happen. Liverpool are going to be able to get the players they want, but they're going to get them at the right price. They're not going to get them at ridiculous 40 million pound fees, um, you know, at a couple of them every window. Also, you have to remember that uh, foreign players and these 30 million pound strikers don't want to come to Liverpool because they don't offer Champions League football at the time, especially when these same 30 million pound players are being linked to, you know, the Manchester United's and the Manchester uh, City's and Chelsea's and even the Tottenham's of the world because those clubs um, have the possibility and do offer Champions League football. And as a foreign player, that's what you want when you come to England, when you come to a big club like Liverpool. And Liverpool can't offer that right now. Damien Kamoli is going to, and Kenny Daglish are going to have to work much savvier and much smarter when it comes to attracting world class talent. But don't really expect that 30 million pound striker to walk through that door um, because of the factors that I listed before. So, are there any rumors that you've heard of? Um, I really just haven't heard much at all that I've taken to heart. But just please, for the love of God, no 24 million pound Darren Benton. That's all I can say. Please. No, 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 that'd be an awful signing. Just no. So that's all for today on JLB Sports TV. Hit the comment section with any gossip, rumors you got, any players you want, any needs you think that I didn't list before. Just let's get the transfer window and let's get the rumors down below. Let's get them down below in the comment section now.